How's it going, everyone? My name is Bradley, and welcome back to some more Destiny 2 of my good friend, King Arthur Pendragon, or Brian, whatever you want to call him. Just call me Mithil. Right, Mithil, that name too. So, <laughs> we just got our asses handed to us by the Red Legion. We fell down here onto the farm. We've been wandering for about a week. We can't resurrect anymore because we've lost the power of our light. A ghost is damaged, and we're all just about fucked right now. But we're going on a quest to restore the light, so let's what news, well, restore our light for now. Not the entire light, but we'll get around to that eventually, so let's start here. And welcome oh. to Restoring the see. Light, episode of Destiny 2, I Part 2. Tyra. You don't need to mention that, but thank Tyra you. <laughs> Sorry. Have we met before? Try to be funny, bro. That's cool. connection to the light has been... Disorienting. Now, I understand you seek the shard of the traveler. I too have dreamt of it. Its jagged, broken edge. A wound that never heals. But I do not trust its pull. Like us, well, son, the shard for some reason. no longer knows the light. Not since the <laughs> traveler cast it off during I like the what she just said. For centuries it has twisted mm -hmm. and Corrupted Funny uh, thing else. about city rules, they stop once you leave the city. Well, a place of death. Yeah. If you are determined to go, remember, we guardians are no longer immortal. Oh, I got a rocket launcher. Tyra skipped the city and found refuge in this camp as well. She too lost her connection to the light and learned you had a vision of the shot. Tyra cautions you against the danger of the surrounding dark forest and your newfound mortality. Take this good from Tyra and go talk to reluctant leader this camp, Surya, Surya, Suraya Hoth, Hothorn. I, I can't pronounce it. Suraya Hawthorn. Thank you. You're welcome. How? How could I not have known the name Gaul? <clears throat> Lost the light, Hunter Subcast. Your powers are gone. What did I just get then? What little we know of the Cabal history is written in blood. Mm. They have always been conquerors. Oh. Now I'm it's time for the fun. Safe. I am Tyra. Okay, just went through that. So, why is it so showing that? Do you wish me? Oh, I'm glad to see you safe. There we go. I am Don't Tyra. know why it wasn't working. Should I acquired it already? No, Alright. Now to go see Hawthorne. This is. Whew. Life Quarantine Sector 236. For me, at least. Of course, I've been living outside the city half my life. So, anyway, heard you want to go poke around that busted up hunk of traveler. Like you guardians have a weird idea of a good time. Oh, yep. well. Lewis and I know plenty about trusting your gut. So I'm not about to stop you. I got enough to deal with here. Take that ship you flew here. At least, it'll get you back faster. See all these refugees? I haven't lost one yet. Don't you be my first. Got it. Hawthorne prefers a solitary life, choosing to live beyond the wall. Despite this, she took to charge of this camp to help refugees of the city survive in unfamiliar and dangerous lands. She wants to help you and she wants to help you and offers you a ship for your journey. Follow your vision to the Shadow of the Traveler by completing the mission Spark and the EDZ. I guess this glimmer is good for something after all. Oh, oh, nice choice. Careful out there. I had no use for my glimmer in my other character, but Sorry. now I do on this Pretty character. Busy. I'm What's glad that on? transfers over. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. So I got all this glimmer on me. 
We're not going to last out here forever. I know that. But the farm isn't about Yeah, I'm just like wild. punching him in the face right now. Giving him like bro fists. <laughs> but they don't like it cuz they keep dying. Why do they keep dying? I just want to give them some, like, you know, show them some love. Well, the point of a bro fist is to hit each other's fists, not punch someone in the face. And I just blew myself up. <laughs> this is why you never trust me with a rocket launcher. Oh my, I've done that a couple of times as well. This is why I don't like rocket launchers, because I just blow myself up. <laughs> like suicide. <sighs> this is why I can't have anything nice ex this. nice and explosive. Shard is the reason this place is called a dead zone. We have to author. It's a sign. Yeah, a sign that says dead zone. <laughs> Yep, we see the sign. We see the sign. We just don't care. Yes, I know respawning's restricted. <clears throat> you know, I've been all over the EDC. Charming enough. I mean, nothing says come visit like a dark haunted forest. But non guardians aren't supposed to leave the city. There's a small gap in the wall. Hard to see, but it's there. Here's the thing about city rules. They stop applying once you leave the city. <laughs> Heard the line you were just talking about. Alright, getting back into the action. Get off me. I said, get off of me. Hawthorne, can you hear us? Signal's dead. Get off me. There. Told you to get off me nicely, but you wouldn't. Did you hear something? Yep, and I saw something. Okay, so I'm just about to get my Dawn Blade. I get that these are trying to be camouflage enemies so we can't see them, but you would think that they make the camouflage a little less obvious. But if they can stay camouflaged while they attack, you know, that would be very, very bad. Scavengers from another world. And if you have your graphics turned down to a certain darkness, you know, it makes it less obvious. Oh, that'll probably explain it. The day you can punch a captain and fist fight him and win. Hold on to your helmet. Oh yeah. Time to see what Dawnblade is about. 
That was close. Oh, dude, this is awesome. I kind of like that they took away our respawn ability at the start of the war because it provides a bit of a challenge. So it's not just like, here's a tutorial, you've got, you've got immortality, go fuck up people, go fuck up aliens or whatever. Yeah, in number one, if you haven't played number one, they completely, like, had, they let you have your respawn ability. Yeah, I think I knew that. But number two, this provides a bit more of a decent challenge. I mean, I'm managing well so far, but to know that I can't respawn right now, that puts me a little bit on edge. No, to me, <laughs> Nice one. <laughs> dude. Dude. What? <laughs> this top lane is so awesome. I hope I get seen in action soon. <laughs> I, I should. I need to hug you, man. Okay, dude. No checkmate moments. Fuck. <laughs> I think we scared them away. Scared them away? We downright killed them. Take me to the ship. <laughs> Scare them away. I like how they put that, by the way. Scare them away. Yeah, to death. <laughs> Scare them away to death is better. Or we'll just scare them to death with a rocket launcher and a hundred bullets. You know... For those of you who do watch Seven Deadly Sins and have watched all of, all the way up to see all of season three, okay, hold up. I haven't been as close what? to the Cutscene. traveler's light since. Okay. Do you feel it? Hold on to your helmet. This is in the helmet, Do but it counts. It? The light is back. We're back. All right. I've got my god powers back. Up, Guardian. Let's kick some ass. Now, what were we talking about? Um, yeah. Just to give you a little hint about this thingy here. Um, about the Warlock's Dawnblade. Um, if you watch Seven Deadly Sins all the way up past Season 3, and you know about Lord Escanor, the Lion's Sin of Pride, the Dawnblade kind of makes, when I, when I use it, it makes me feel like Escanor. Because when the enemies die, I sit it makes me, I, I get that feeling to want to say then again I don't blame them for being scared of death because they were facing me uh, can I use my light powers if you're not going to give me that many enemies to kill but this stuff is pretty cool Good. I'm going to knock out a quick I'm gonna knock out a quick cru crucible while I wait for you. I got that Lord Shaq's mission with the crucible. 
The purple crown one. Yep. Gonna knock out a crucible to knock that out real quick. Plus, it will let me try out this Dawn Blade and Crucible. Ah, uh, guys, there's a ship that one of these people in the Crucible has that's flying with me to the Crucible. It's a pink version of the Space Invader ship. Cool. It's awesome. It's awesome. Then there's one that looks like the Cleon Bird of Prey. All right. We got our light powers back, and we should be able to team up now. Okay, I'm going to knock out this Crucible real quick if it loads. There we go. Okay, I'll check my equipment. That's a much better mask. 19, 21. Dismantle that crap. Yeah, I managed to get a kill. Two kills, actually. And now we're two points in the lead. Grenade launcher? Why do I have a grenade launcher? As a... hmm, whatever. Submachine gun. Equip that. Water rifle, sidearm, and rocket launcher for now. Flow like lightning, strike like thunder. Isn't that the other way around? Uh, no. That's how it goes. Feels like it should be. Oh, I can dodge. That'd be really useful. It's you. You and I walked together as the tower burned. And now, here you stand. Your light burns a path before us. And on that path, I see many battles ahead of you. Battles only you can win. The crucible of Lord Shax will prepare you. In my arena, should a titan stand in your way, crush him. If a hunter confronts you, break her blade. If a warlock speaks, feed him his words. There is only one path to victory, Guardian. See you on the battlefield. Lord Jax oversees the Crucible, a tournament that trains Guardians by pinning them against one another in a friendly competition. Quote unquote, friendly. Though the future of the Crucible was in doubt after the fall of the city, Shax is convinced that it is needed now more than ever. Complete matches, no, complete matches in the Crucible to hone your skills against other players and earn rewards. Uh, don't think we're going to defeat Guardians. Final blows. Just get that I one. know you'll use this well. Just get those for now. If you're in the lead, as long as you get a kill Hopefully, before you die, you'll stay in the lead in Crucible. On your way, Guardian. <laughs> well, look at you. You got your life back. Yes, I did. I don't know how you did it, but I'm glad. Because we're going to need it. There are a lot more survivors out there, and they need our help. 
We gotta get the word out that the farm is a safe haven. I sent a friend into the EDZ a few hours ago to set up a comm network. His name's Devram K. Good guy. Great shot. Don't tell him I said that. If you give him a hand, I'd take it as a personal favor. Your vision from the travel was true and it led you back to the light. The camp is now even safe in that you've reconnected your power. There's still a lot of people out there in the wild and near refuge. Help them <coughs> get to the farm. Go to Hawthorne's friend Devrin by selecting the lane zone trust lane in the EDZ. How long until you finish with that crucible? 52 okay, out of 100 on my team, 48 out of 100 on their team, 4 minutes left. Okay, well, we'll just start the recording here and make him pick. Okay, so we're back on the farm, we've got our light back, and I'm just waiting for O'Brien to join my team so we can commence the next mission. There he is. Or Mathiel. I'm just so used to saying, calling you by your real name, I'm sorry. Eh, yeah, it's okay. One second while I load. I'm just going to orbit now. You need to do something on the farm. Or that. No, I'm here. I gotta do something on the farm. So, yes. Yeah. Dang, just that one crucible got me level 4. Went in level 2, got out level 4. I was wondering why you were 2 levels A to me. Nah, I just did that one crucible match. <laughs> I was level 2 when I went in, and then when I came out, it's level 4. I'm like, what? Uh, oh. <sighs> right, so when you're ready, I'll s start the mission. Or, you know, I'll, I'll just go to Earth or something. I could do some leveling there and catch up to you. Is that okay? Yeah, I'll tell you when I... Okay, let's go. Players do not have access oh. to this activity. No, yeah, because I gotta talk back to her with my light. I gotta do that at the farm real quick. Alright. One eternity later. Okay, ready for you to queue to the farm. Please do not have access to this activity. No, you gotta zone us into the farm so I can turn in real quick, because I'm in your fire team. Uh. Yeah, I originally had this game, and then I was trying to get Shadow here to play it with me, and... He's like, okay, I will, but first let me finish up some games. I'm like, okay, and then after I stopped begging, I was just kind of hinting at it, not actually flat out saying, hey, play it with me, just, hey. Yep, he just wants to stop asking me. He's always trying to get me addicted to his crack. <laughs> Destiny 2 is my crack, I'm sorry. <laughs> but no, it went from begging to flat out just talking about how awesome the game was and then finally eventually he's just like ah, fine I'll get it it's not real and then he did he played it and he's like it's not real it's so amazing it's not real drugs we're talking about it's just metaphorically speaking yeah I think they know that when you call a game crack then that means that they know you're speaking metaphorically well you know just reassuring in case people are confused Understandable. But yeah, he wasn't going to right away, and then after he finally broke down and did it, he played the first time, and he's like, Damn it, you got me addicted to your crack. I'm like, Yep. GG. <laughs> That's how persistent some of my friends are sometimes. But then once he played it and he was like, this is awesome, just like, GG. Then he's, next thing you know, he's saying, this is the game me and he's, me and you's gonna play. I mean, we got other games and all that, even though if it's just one or two. 
but yeah. But you flat out said this is gonna be the game we play. Yeah. Permanent game we play. Yeah. Like until we beat it. I'm like well, we got yep. other games like when we play Heroes of the Storm. Maybe yeah, maybe. but apparently that didn't go over too well. Yeah. Okay, I've got the quest from her, but first I've got to go over here to Tess. I don't care what Jadarius is doing. But don't you know? They care about what they're, they're doing. Yeah, well, I don't know them. Oh. That makes them upset now. <laughs> There's no way that they'll be watching this video. I know. It's a one in a million chance. Wait, who's watching this video? Well, when the video gets uploaded, of course. Exactly, I was about to say. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was about to say, what? We're live? No. I... Don't put me on a spot like that, gosh. I am planning to live stream for a, a while. Got it. Oh god. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I wonder how you use these Eververse bounty notes. Yeah, I wonder about that too. Oh, I see. What? It just ups your standing. Oh. Look like complete crap. Good thing I've got all these shaders. Okay, I'm ready, bro. Cool. Now you get to see how awesome this is. Picture Dawnbreaker mixed with Lord Escanor from Seven Deadly Sins, if you've seen Seven Deadly Sins, mixed with Ichigo uh, as far as Dawnblade attack goes. I'm assuming it's that powerful. You can glide across the sky and send explosive fiery slash, uh, slash waves from a sword at the enemy. Wait, you're using Warlock, right? Yeah, this is the Dom Blade. Okay. Just come here with the class you're using. Don't get cocky now that you've got your powers back. The EDZ is rough, especially around the old town. I am, I guess. Just remember, cocky. refugees from the city have it a lot rougher. Me either, because we're amazing. You want to help them? Find Devram K. Oh, except for in restricted areas, then maybe we're a little bit limited. Yeah. Long. Oh, nearly choked on spit there. Long ass loading screen. <laughs> you know a game's epic when you have a long ass loading screen. I guess. Cause that means it's just loading so much epicness. So okay. Um. By the way, so about this. Rate. Hey Shadow, if you start taking damage, get lose some health. I'm about to show you something. All right. Hey, ugly. I know you got your fancy little pea shooter. Okay, Brian. What do you need to do? Okay, on my way. Watch. Stand in this. Over here. Notice your health. Thank you. I can now heal. I was a bit worried there. That's why I wanted you to take damage. I was showing you the Dawn, Bra uh, the Dawn Blade can heal. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to charge up my uh, super, so you can see it. 
Yeah, we'll get charged up when we accept the mission. Okay, what does this do? Okay. Over here. Just moves me forward a little bit. Yep. Ugh, I had to take the ramp. I hate taking the ramp. Warlocks can glide. A guest. But here I have no tea to serve. These are dire times indeed. It's fine. Devram K, the eighth, at your service. City militia, back when there was a city. Now I serve at the pleasure of my dear friend Soraya Hawthorne. First on the docket. Contact other refugees and Okay, so public event building a coming. Work from the ground up. And even though I happen to be a damn good shot, the fallen are giving me a double of the time. I dare say you can handle a few rounds with the enemy. I've seen what guardians can do. Right. Yep. I think it's time to let the guns do the talking now. Don't you? I couldn't agree more. Want to do this public event first? 37 seconds? Yeah, sure. A good choice. Mind your rockets now, Guardian. Sorry, I didn't get to read that. Just go back and pause the video if we need to. And it's up now as well, bro. So you're gonna get to see what I mean about how epic this attack is. You see me, right? Just make sure it's within my camera. Looks like the fallen are bringing in a glimmer drill. Keep a sharp lookout. Yeah, I will. I'll stand next to you just to make sure that. Where's the drill coming from? Over okay. here, maybe? Over there. Okay. Maybe the okay, now you. S yeah, just do it already. Okay. Did you catch all that? Yep. Didn't do that much damage, but it looked pretty cool. It'll do more damage when it gets uh, specked up some. A glimmer mining crew shut them down. And now, as for the fun part, there's the glimmer drill. Another site. Yep, over here is going to be the next site. Now it's my turn. Next one will be over here. I see him. Now, let's 
see where we're going. <coughs> we got a new frontier to do. Let's get started. There's a banner on the main floor. Give it a look, will you? a fallen house sigil. I don't recognize it though. Tell me when you scan that no banner. Mm -hmm. The fallen seem to have put this up as something of a threat. It's on the first banner. I imagine you'll find lots of objects like this out there with a bit of a story to them. Okay, well it's saying contacting Destiny 2 servers. You so. Are you disconnecting? Out here. Yeah. See if you find a cache in one of the buildings nearby. What? Are you disconnecting? No, it's saying contacting Destiny 2 servers. Why? I don't know. Oh wait, I think it's happening for me too. I'm trying to quit this dust cloud, but nothing's happening. Are the servers going down for maintenance? I don't think so. I think it because it's saying, "Hang on, you're experiencing networking issues." I don't know. Maybe. For more supplies in the wilds. Speaking of the wilds. There's a symbol on the wall of the church. Take a look. No, we're good. Okay, yeah, I'm able to click it now. There's a server lag issue, I guess. Yep, on my way. Where did this symbol come from? I believe your city hunters must have put them here and there about the region as they scouted around. I think they meant it to mark something special. Or dangerous. Or both. Let's go check it out. The history of this region is fascinating. I believe tunnels and caves like the one you're in now stretch all across the EDZ. Who knows what's lurking down there? Be careful. Your gunslinger that you'll get later on uh, will end up having a throwing knife. Yeah, it's saying it again too. Doesn't say anything for me. Saying it again for me. Yep, but it doesn't say anything for me. Alright, where do we go? Down here. This game lets us go sometimes. Enter the tunnels. <clears throat> what tunnels? I think we just did it. That's not telling me anything. I was 
I think I go down here. I was saying go back over here. I think it's the Destiny 2 servers right now. I don't know. I just like... snagged a key code from that captain. I think <clears> I can <throat> open his supply cache. But that's for another day. <sighs> In the meantime, what say we get down to business? Why is Come it on, always gotta be to bombs the now? Wait. I'm putting a kettle on now. This is problems for me too, bro. Yes, but this these kind of problems always have to happen whenever I record. I don't know. Up oh, and uh, <coughs> yeah, I think we're gonna end this episode a little bit early if this keeps up. We'll do one more mission and see how it goes. I know how to open the director game. Okay. <coughs> No, you don't. This is a new character. Your new character don't. You're here. Very good. Welcome <coughs> back. This time I did make tea for you, but I seem to have drunk it all. <laughs> Perhaps if you were a mite quicker. <laughs> right, the beacon. While you were tussling with the fallen, we've encountered a bit of a setback. Hawthorne has placed the last relay on the mountain above the salt mines, but even from that height, the signal still doesn't have the range we expected. It's getting pretty late, dirt bro. Regardless, this signal booster should solve our problem if we can. Get I said we call it for tonight in the early zone, indeed. Okay, hang on a sec. The communication network is in place, but a nearby cable outpost has been jamming all outbound outbound signals. Hawthorne needs to get the message out to the survivors. Take Devram's signal boost and help Hawthorne by completing the mission combustion. Okay, so Matthew has to go to bed, but we'll pick this up next time. How long have we been recording actually? 23 minutes. A little bit shorter than last time. We do apologize for that, but you know, you just kind of help the conveniences sometimes. And of course, there has to be loud noises as soon as I'm talking and saying something important. Well, I'm kind of shooting out the window at enemies that were shooting at us. Can you please stop shooting? I've already got the fire alarm yeah. going off. Oh, sorry. So, thank you guys for watching. Sorry this episode was a little bit shorter than last time. Hopefully we'll get more done next time, but I am going to, once again, have more fun playing with Theo, with but this time in a different class, and I am... I think I'm liking Hunter better than Titan. I'm getting a little bit more mobility as I move around. I'm sure it's a little different to when I was using my jetpack, but it's just a little bit more mobile because when I was using my jetpack, I wasn't really moving all that much. Like, I would try to dodge an enemy's projectiles and I'd just slow the movement and I'd be like, ah, crap, and then, bah, dead. But with the, with the Hunter class, I feel like I'm able to dodge a little more efficiently. And did I have a... Oh yeah, that's what it was. Doesn't look like a dodge roll. But anyway, I think I'm going to enjoy this Hunter class. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. Please leave a like, subscribe to my awesome channel, and King Arthur Pendragon's channel if you're following the link, if it has any videos on it. or I don't have any videos on it right now, but in time I will. Okay, never mind then. And we will see <laughs> you guys next time. Later, everyone. Bye-bye.